Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be sharing with you a junk journal that I recently created out of this binder that I found at a thrift store. And I created a junk journal out of it and I wanted to share with you what I did. I am going to be putting this onto my Etsy shop, so if you are interested in purchasing it, it will be on my Etsy shop. Once it sells, I will make sure that I update the title with the word sold so that you will know if it's been sold or not. But um, before I get into the journal, I do want to just let you know that I am going to be including a packet of goodies. There's a whole bunch of like gardening type stuff in here. Um, and it'll just be a little surprise for whoever buys it. They can look that look at, look at that. I'm also going to include one of my um, packs of paper that I have. So this is all just gardening papers. Um, most of the um, information will be listed in my Etsy shop, but it's um, basically little packets that I have. I have these book packets, um, book page packets in my shop. So I will be including one of those. And then you will also be getting all of the extra pages that came with the pay with the book that I took out. Um, I will also include those in the um, listing as well. So um, basically you get all of these things plus the three ring or the ring binder as well. So let's go ahead and show you what I created. So this book is um, from 19 the copyright is 51 54 and 61 so I'm assuming that this is the 61 edition of this book I did leave in a couple of the pages from the book itself um, I kind of did like a garden slash farm journal um, in here so most of the stuff is either farm it's very <laughs> it's very theme oriented um, so it's either got a garden feel or a farm like feel to it. Um, so I included a little belly band here and put in some of these little paper page notebook pages. Um, and I'm, so I'm just going to flip through this and kind of just go over some of the things as we go through it. Each one of them has a, um, scrapbooking page in it. There is a bingo card that I altered, a little flower um, journaling card in this little pocket that's here on the side. And then um, there are some dictionary pages. This one has lettuce on it. This is a page from a um, Ideals magazine from the 70s. I included some of Gail Gustinelli's digital kit. Gail, Gail Gustinelli has a digital kit that I included in here. So I printed it on tea dyed paper um, and just included those prints in here. So um, that that's also included. So again, I have some pages from the book. This is a little belly band. This is a little seed packet. Little, um, And I believe this, if I'm not mistaken, these were either, I think these are from the 50s. These little seed packets and then a little uh, journaling card with some tea dye paper on the back this came from a little gardening book that had like little pages on suppliers I thought that was really cute so I included that on here and then it's got grid paper on the back I included some um, pages from coloring books um, that are all kind of flower or gardening themed and then it has the corn on the back Um, this little tuck spot has a uh, old, this is from, it looks 72, and it's from, it's just an old little ephemera piece that I found, and it says like uh, agriculture on it, so I thought that was appropriate for this little journal. And then a little, another little journaling card, and then another card that says, my garden is calling, I must go. And those are all stuck in that little tuck spot. Added some ruffle here on the side. There is some sewn, so this is sewn on here. The ruffle is sewn. And then I just leave, I left a lot of blank spaces too to kind of, you could decorate on your own. Put photos on here, stuff like that. Another piece, this is just from another gardening book. This is a little pocket that's a calendar. And inside here I included this cute little fun um, booklet that has this little activity 
thing I found at the Dollar Tree and I just had to include it on here. So it's like the little pictures and you can find the little picture like the paper clip and stuff like that in the picture. So I just thought that was cute so I included that in here as well in this little pocket. Um, I included some more pad paper with lemons on it on that little side pocket there. This one has a couple of little playing card. It's got a journaling card with some tea dye paper, a little receipt. And then on this side, there is a little um, file right here. I included some tea dye paper inside the file. And then there's a little Tim Holtz paper clip. You can just paper clip that back together. And then another of the Gallon of Gassinelli's, uh digital kit. Here's another journaling card that I decorated a little bit. Um, here is another one of the uh, pages. This one I just put in garden. Well, it's got so you could journal on the back of that as well. Some pages from the book. Another little pocket page. This one has a uh, clover farm store. This came from a, uh, a Paper pack from Authentique. And then I just included a little book page that had a little farm picture on there. I had a book page that had a bunch of cute little fruits and vegetables on it, so I thought that was cute. And then I just added this little journaling card that I made from a paper pack that has little barns on it. And that just slips in here. And then I have a guest registry paper that flips out. A couple of pages from the book. There's my fabric flip that I created on my channel. I'll leave a link here if you're interested in how I designed this. But I basically just sewed it up and then it flips here. And I do have this paper clip here holding that on and then holding this little love grows here on the back of that. Another digital kit print, another coloring book page. Here is another one of the um, pages from another, uh, another gardening book, another gardening book page that says garden, gardener's language. I thought that was really cute. On the back here, I did made a devil pocket. I included this little cute little ephemer piece. And this is the garden is my happy place. And those just stuck in that pocket. And then this one has a grocer and a grocer's little index card thing. A couple of pictures. Again, really pretty images. I have this little uh, charm that I put on here. It's a little uh, shovel. And I just paper or pinned it to the ruffle that I sewed onto this page. Um, I got these at Michael's a long time ago and I thought they were perfect for this uh, journal. Um, this is a journal, a little journaling card that I made from a uh, um, division flashcard and um, I just altered the, the back of it. Another coloring page, another little page that says garden plan on it. So there's lots and lots of room to create your own stuff, but I also created and decorated quite a bit. I left several pages in here because I really liked that this fact that this said diff the different seasons in it. This one is another little pocket. Again, the pages are all kind of garden or farm themed. This one says, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow, Audrey Hepburn. And then I just have a little, uh, this actually came in some friend mail. Uh, I thought that would be perfect because of the little peas. And then I included a, just a time card on here because I love these time card things. Um, I created this little journaling card from a book. I just thought that image was really cute. And I put country living with some ribbon and just did some sewing on the side. And then just tuck that into that little pocket that I also sewed. Another gardening page. A bunch of gardening pages from the book. Here is another page from the scrapbooking page. 
um, another journaling card. I just put some tea dye paper on the back of this uh, children's book page. And then I stuck this in that belly band and then, a, then I decorated the belly band a little bit. Here's another page that says like pest control. So it like has like different notes you take for your garden. And then this really beautiful image on this side. And then a little cute little image here. This came from an ideals book. So it has a little poem about gardening. Another image from Gallica Snellity's digital kit. Um, yeah, and then this one is from a, um, this came from a book I just recently bought at a thrift store. And um, I'll make sure I leave a link to that video here if you're interested in seeing what this book looks like. Um, and it just says a new friend and it does say, so I peeked through the garden fence and I couldn't wait to see. I found a little boy next door was peeking back at me. So I thought that was really cute. It had a little garden theme on it and it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit cardboard on it. So it's a good, nice size journaling card. Then I added this little uh, watering spout thing here. And this is like just a little playing card. And I just paper clipped that to the front of that belly band. Really pretty little illustration of a flower. Another coloring pick page with the watering can on the back. The pages from the book. This is, has a little jean pocket. This I got from a friend mail as well. And um, I just put in a little tag here and I stuck the sticker on. The sticker came from the collection, the um, paper collection I used. And this is also from the paper collection. And then I just added some tea dye paper to the back. And then this one just has, is with that. And I also added a little piece of the, like ruffle here, the kind of crocheted ruffle. This dictionary page, it says grocer, grocer man, and then it also says grow. Um, and then I added a journaling card here on the back. And then some of the book pages. So all of the tabs are in here still. Um, so that I think there's 21 tabs in here. And then there is another little pocket that I made from a children's book. Here is a just a recipe card and then another longer tag with some copy dyed paper. Just use the cutoff pages. Another page from a different garden book. This is a little tax, a little earning statement page. This actually came from Cheaply Chic's collection. So I just used it in here. And some book pages. There's another, uh, there's a little like check registry and then a book page and I just added some coffee dyed paper to the back. Another page with some information about peaches. Um, here's another little side pocket thing. Here's a journaling card talking about growing. And then I've got another little grocer um, invoice thing and then a little index card stuck here on the side pocket. This one flips out so if you wanted to do some uh, like hidden journaling or something it flips out so then it just tucks back in. And there's a couple of gardening pages. I loved this illustration so I wanted to keep that in there. And then this page is from a, um, an authentic paper and it just talks about planting times and prices and gardening wholesale. So it has like gardening themed. And on the back I included the tag that I made um, in that video that I have linked to the top. So if you're interested in seeing how I created that. And this is also a tuck spot as well. So you could tuck something back behind there as well. Um, there is another one of the digital kits printables. Another page from the gardening book. Um, there is a little tuck spot right here with just a little journaling card on it. It says happiness blooms. And then here is a, uh, a Hallmark card that has a little gardening theme on the front. And it's just blank. And I just have that in here. And then I just paper clipped that to 
that page. And then this little one has vegetables on it. Another little supplier page that flips out. Here is another one of those little charms that I had. It's a little pick and I included it on here with the little ribbon or the lace. I've got a guest check, an inventory check, and a little, an old, this is from the 77. It's like a little, you know, tag, a little flower tag. Another printable. Here's another pocket with a couple of book pages in it. So I have this book page and then I have that book page. So those are both stuck in here. And I just put a little sticker here on the side. And then another coloring page that's garden themed, a little garden house, a little greenhouse. And then a picture of the house inside. And I loved the images in this one. It was really cool how old the houses look. <laughs> And then that page, and then this page has just a tag here tucked behind this little folder. And it's got a little, just a little ephemera piece that I stuck here with a little Tim Holtz paper clip. This flips out with the beautiful image of the grapes in the back. And some pages from the book. And then another uh, belly band here with some lace sewn on the side and a couple of re recipe cards in there. And then this is from a ideals book. It just talks about gardening. I loved the image of the guy gardening. And then I, I folded it up and made it a pocket on this side and then included this little thing that said dig. These are just from the Dollar Tree, so it's not vintage at all. Um, this one says grow in with love, grow it with love, grown with love. <laughs> um, and then another book page as well. And those just all kind of stick in there. This one has the word corn on it and it's got cotton and cottage and then country. <laughs> A lot of words that are associated with this. And I, I did want to say something about these little pages. I was worried that they would be hard to flip through, but I flipped through this thing tons and tons and tons of times as I was working on it. And they've all held up pretty good. So and you might want to reinforce them with some um, hole reinforcers, but I think it should be fine. And then I just made this little postcard collage. Um, it says, wherever love wherever life plants you bloom with grace and then I just kind of collaged on it a little bit to create a card and then I had this one that says happy gardening I stuck there in the back and then this one is a pocket I was going to put something back here but I forgot so I might do that before I send it out but it's okay I could have an empty pocket but there's a little pocket in there that's a picture of a daisy this came from an ideals book Another guest or check registry page. And then a couple of the index pages are in here. This has a little pocket here on the side. I put a couple of Tim Holtz uh, journaling cards there. And then another little page that has a gardening plan on it that you can fold out. And then the final page is just this one page with the barn on the backyard on the back. So that is my journal book that I will be putting on my Etsy shop. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little share of the book. And um, if you are interested in all in purchasing it, go ahead. My link to my Etsy will be down in the description box. I am working on two additional books as well. I do have a sewing one coming and a cookbook as well. And I'm almost done with them. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks I can have those done and um, loaded as well onto my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in all in knowing when exactly I'll load those, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you know exactly when I upload things on my Etsy shop because I always put them on my um, YouTube channel and then, um, you know, so that you guys will know. All right, so I guys, I hope you guys enjoy and have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.